Hello Aries, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the person that you are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do you need to know about them? What are they thinking or feeling about you? And what are their intentions towards you? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not and cannot resonate with every Aries. Uh, and also, not every Aries reading will resonate, so take what resonates for you. What applies to your situation and leave the rest. All right, Aries, let's get into this. Let's look at what's going on in this connection between you and the person you are dealing with. Spirit, what is going on with Aries in love? Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. For me as a reader, this is a card about unhealthy attachments, unhealthy bonds, being emotionally dependent on a connection or what is happening in a connection. Let's see what else we can get here. What else can you tell me? For Aries, please. Oh, that one just fell out. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Every time I see this card, I think there's something around you or someone around you that you might not be recognizing or missing altogether like a missed opportunity is what i keep getting with that card it reminds me of the four of cups if you're not focused on the right thing you might miss it and if you don't keep an open mind you definitely will miss it so we'll see what we get with with these energies aries i feel like with codependency i'm also getting that this has been going on for a while so the aries that i'm talking to this is a connection that you've been in for a while or this is someone you've been in some sort of tug of war with <laughs> i don't know why i'm getting the tug of war scenario but i am all right aries let's get into this let's see what other information we can get about what is going on in this connection spare tell me more please for aries tell me more please for aries what's going on in this connection between Aries and this other person what can you tell me about what's going on in this connection you will know whoa what happened you will know pretty soon here whether this is your reading or not Aries hang on my cards are going crazy what is going on in this connection? The star, Aquarius energy. This is hope, faith, renewal. Knight of Wands, okay. Someone's going after their wish, after something here. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be you going after something as well. And nine of wands yes this is what i was getting with codependency in the sense and because nine of wands for me as a reader as well it's a card where a lot of time has passed so much time that you're now exhausted that's what the nine of wands is about it's about being guarded on guard on the defensive watchful wary not really trusting anybody because of what you've been through already it's someone that's been beat up all along the way but they refuse to completely give up so that's what the nine of wands is about and for me as a reader for that to happen you must have been in this war for a while you know it's not like you were just there for like 10 minutes and dipped you know not to be at the state that you're in now so i feel like this is something where the connection has gone through its ups and downs here so let's see should we use a different deck here see what else we can get help me clarify these energies for Aries tell me about this star someone in this connection and I say someone because this is mutual energy so you're both here someone has like either some sort of healing to do or hope or faith in something let's see Tell me about this star. Oh my goodness. OMG. Okay. We've got the Three of Swords. 
So I'm thinking this could be a situation where someone's needing healing. And the Knight of Coin, not a Knight of Coin, the King of Coin, reverse. I feel like uh, someone's disappointed or um, has gone through something painful because the other person either either the other person didn't give them something or couldn't commit to them or they didn't get what they wanted or expected here king of coin reverse the king of coin for me usually is already in some sort of long-term commitment already a very stable grounded person when he's reversed it's someone that is a little bit too focused on money um, kind of selfish thinks of themselves um stingy you know they don't like to give sometimes as well when they're reversed like this it could mean um for me as a reader that this is someone who's in a partnership where they're not the best partner for taurus virgo capricorn energy can you get one more for the star for aries please queen of wands whoa okay Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this is a partnership where there has been a lot of pain and there needs to be healing is what I'm seeing so far. Bottom of the deck, I have the Nine of Swords. So this is like fear. Like there's fear, uh, sleepless nights, anxiety. That's not codependent energy. That's like emotional. Your emotions are not really, they're not the most healthy, whoever is feeling this way. One of you is. I feel like once again, this Queen of Wands, this Knight of Wands, it's like it's like they want something, but instead they're just getting like pain and disappointment with the Three of Swords. They need to like heal something that is not working. That's what I'm seeing so far. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands about? Seven of Coin. Another card about time, investment, effort and having doubts or worrying that something's not going to pan out something's not going to grow it's not going to be what you expected this is probably somebody that wants something again that they're motivated taking action towards something here yeah the lovers gemini energy uh a partnership a choice between partners what's this three of cups reverse my goodness <laughs> I've been saying this in other videos, joking that I should change my channel's name to the Three of Cups channel because seriously, every sign, like what is happening? I'm not going to take that, but I just wanted to look. Yeah, Ten of Wands. See what I'm seeing here? Ten of Wands, another card for me that also resembles time and weight. You know, like maybe a lot of baggage in a connection, a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, something that's a little bit too heavy to carry. This could be in regards to a partnership of some sort. Oh my gosh, and at the bottom of the deck, I have the Seven of Swords. What is going on here, Aries? There's something here that's off about this partnership, about investing in a partnership. Can I get one more about the Knight of Wands? What's this Knight of Wands about? King of Cups. Well, someone's motivated by their emotions, how they feel, their love, their, you know, there's love here. So someone I feel is going after something because of love or uh, going after the person they love. Still having an attraction, um, still having um, a fiery um, interest in someone, which to me, it's like, you know, there's chemistry, there's attraction, there's even possibly physical intimacy. Um, I feel like someone has really invested in a partnership because of love, but it hasn't been perfect. Like there's something here, like maybe there's a third party interference or a lot of pain or baggage in this connection that has left someone feeling like this. Like, you know, how much more can I take? How much more can I deal with? You know, this person's like all beat up. They have like bandages around their, their head and everything. And trust issues because of everything that's happened. They don't trust people that, that easily. They don't open up to people that easily. They've tried to create some sort of barrier here to protect themselves. Tell me about the nine of wands. 
my cards really want to talk today. How about the Nine of Wands, please? Eight of Coin Reverse. Yeah, something's not working. Someone's not putting in the, the, the effort that's required or uh, someone's not able to put in effort. Someone's not focused, distracted, uh, unable, you know, sloppy work. That's what the Eight of Coin Reverse is about. Can I get one more, please, for the Nine of Wands? This could also be someone that has lost a job or is having difficulty with work. Four of Coin, holding back. Holding tightly to something here. Guarding themselves. Another card about being guarded. Can you get one more, please, for this Nine of Wands? So I don't know what is going on here. I don't know if this is both of you or one of you in this connection. But I feel like because of everything that's happened and not worked out, ooh, justice, Libra energy, someone is almost like trying to protect themselves but not giving up either. Oops. Even though there's been disappointment, regrets, even though they might feel like things haven't gone their way. You know, like this is just disappointment after disappointment justice um energy here someone trying to uh rebalance the situation but you know what i'm seeing here with justice which is weird because i usually don't get this with this card this card is about balance um fairness justice right but what i'm seeing here with the eight of coin reverse and justice i'm seeing someone's trying to do the right thing and the other person's not playing someone's balanced and equal and wanting things to be even but someone's not really meeting that person halfway or even at all i feel and this could be because they can't or because they won't you know it's really going to depend so let's see how you feel about each other i'm going to be using my stellar energy oracle deck this is a deck that i sell in my shop it's a deck that you can print from home i really love it i'm thinking about making this into a physical deck we'll see how that goes but for now I really love using it I got mine printed at Staples so you can get it printed somewhere like that as well all right so let's see tell me about Aries what are their energies in this connection spirit tell me about Aries please what are their energies in this connection how are they thinking or feeling balancing act imbalance indecision juggling you're trying to restore balance in a situation. Yeah, this I feel like is you with the justice card here, Aries. Maybe you're juggling or indecisive about something. Maybe you need to, you have a lot on your plate. Tell me about Aries's person. Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Sweet dreams, fantasy, daydream, imagination, this connection is more than you dreamed of okay so this person at the bottom of the deck i have far apart distance separation divide distance is affecting the strength of this connection and right behind that closed off so i'm, I'm picking up something like um this person that you're dealing with, and by the way, Aries, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more for you. I feel like this person, that is exactly what they are. They're a fantasy. This is, this is something that I feel is not really real. It's a dream. This person maybe has fantasized with you, has maybe made you promises they can't really keep. Maybe this was just really sweet, really, um strong connection but that doesn't mean that it's it was completely real we'll see tell me about these two and how they're feeling about each other please spirit how are aries and this person feeling about each other tell me about aries and the energies they're bringing to this connection please Tell me about Aries and the energies they're bringing to this connection. Oh, they wanted to give me three of wands reverse, nine of swords reverse. So you're overcoming some sort of fear. Hopefully, hopefully that's not a mental breakdown because the nine of swords reverse can be that. 
Now with the three of wands reversed though, in the chariot, I'm getting like, you want to move past this. Um, you're becoming impatient, frustrated, thinking about just leaving all of this behind with the chariot. And again, with the with time, time, temperance at the bottom of the deck, three of wands reversed. Three of wands upright is someone that's waiting for, you know, with expectation. They've already put in some plans in place and are now expecting some sort of result from that. They're ready to venture out, see what else is out there, see what the world has to offer them, right? But when it's reversed, it's somebody that has either not planned very well, not taken the best steps in order to, to, to set themselves up for success. And so now they, they're making mistakes, they're becoming impatient, they're frustrated, they might miss the boat. Okay, remember what I said about keeping an open mind. I have Sagittarius here at the bottom of the deck. This is some someone that's trying to make things happen. I feel like you're trying to restore balance. You're trying to move forward, have success in this connection. But you know what, Aries? If that's the case, you cannot do this by yourself. This is not, you know, relationships, it takes two to tangle, like they say. Both have to pull in, pull, pull their weight or it's not going to go anywhere. And I see it time and time again. Cancer energy with the chariot, by the way. You could even be um, making a physical move or traveling, maybe coming, going to see your person. Maybe this is long distance because I had far apart at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about uh, the person that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? What are their energies, please? Yeah, six of pentacles reverse. This is someone that is not able to reciprocate. Uh, they're giving more than you or you, they're giving way less than you. It's uneven here. There's in, an imbalance. Three of cups. I'm really hoping this isn't a third party situation. I mean, it doesn't have to be another person. It could be something here that just is getting in the way. Seven of Wands reverse. Someone that's no longer resisting, no longer able to fight, no longer able to stand up for themselves. They know they don't have courage. The Seven of Wands reverse, um, or they've lost courage, maybe because they've been fighting so long that they their strength is 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 giving in. You know, bottom of the deck I have the Queen of Pentacles reverse. So now I have a. King of Pentacles reverse, a Queen of Pentacles reverse, and then this like King of Cups here. Three. Queen of Pentacles reverse. They're unable to give. Judgment reverse. Yes, this is somebody that is unable to give to this connection. For whatever reason. They're not giving you what, what they should be giving you, at least. So let's see, how is this person thinking or feeling about you? I'm using my Secret Moon Oracle deck here. This is my first physical deck. I'm still working on perfecting this and putting it on my Etsy shop. So um, I don't know if by the time this video is up, if they'll be available, probably not, but check my Etsy shop just to double check. It's linked down in the description box. Tell me how this person's thinking or feeling about Aries. Tell me how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries, please. You are my soulmate. What else can you tell me about how this person is thinking or feeling about Aries? I have a lot on my plate. That's that ten of wands. You make me happy at the bottom of the deck. So, you know, I'm feeling like, again, this is a very strong connection between you. But there's something in the way, you know, you might make this person really happy, but there's something not quite right here. Let's see. What else do you need to know? What's the 411? Any hidden factors, blocks? What do we need to know? Spirit, what else do we need to know about this connection between Aries and this other person? Aries, if this is resonating for you in any way, feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know how it's resonating for you. 
I cannot respond to all the comments, but I read them all and I love hearing from you. All right, let's see. Any other messages for Aries regarding this person? Whoops, okay. Tell me first, um, potential challenges or blocks, please, in this connection. What are the challenges or the, or the blocks to this connection, Fair. Challenges or blocks, please. Ten of Wands, reverse. Challenges or blocks, please. Three of Coin. Okay. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I know I'm going to get comments too about like some of the reversals that you see in my deck, but my decks are completely mixed. I, you know, they're completely mixed. They don't, they don't start off as upright decks and then I just shuffle them on camera. Like they've already been shuffled plenty of times. What else do we need to know about Aries and this other person? King of Swords reverse. What do we need to know? So what are the hidden factors here? What do we need to know? Ace of Swords. What's this in order to come out? Ace of Coin reverse, Two of Wands reverse. Yikes. Okay. I feel like you need to have clarity about something that has to do with this connection. Either something that this person is telling you or not telling you. There needs to be a very serious discussion with the King of Swords reverse, Ace of Swords upright. The challenges of the blocks, we have that burden that I've been talking about. The Ten of Wands reverse. This is a burden that when it's rever when the Ten of Wands is reversed, someone cannot keep it up. I have a lot on my plate, yes, and it's going to fall right on your head because this is someone that literally cannot keep it up. This is someone that even their health could be affected by the, by, by the fact of like whatever is weighing on them, whatever responsibilities, obligations. They cannot do it all alone. Um, or they don't have the strength to keep going with what they have. Three of coin, this is also a challenge of a block or a block because someone's unable or unwilling to put in the necessary work in this relationship, Aries. And I feel like part of this, the problem here is that someone has been hanging on because of the time invested. Not because it's a great connection or a great relationship, you know? I could be wrong about that for some of you, but for others of you, definitely. I feel like this is a relationship or a connection that has been, has had more bad days than good, but someone's still hanging on. So let's see. Let's get some clarity here. Spirit angels and guides. Give me some clarity, please. Tell me what I need to say for Aries. Tell me about this Ten of Wands reverse. What's this about? Nine of Wands reverse. Again with the someone needing to give up. The nine of wands reverse this is someone that again health could be affected um complete like like being overly defensive you know terrible trust issues like this is someone that cannot trust and it's not their fault but you know it's because of everything that's happened i'm also but i'm picking up it's more like someone's ready to give up tell me more about the ten of wands reverse yeah, three of swords again. Very difficult situation. Why is the three of coin here? Why is this a challenge or a block? Empress. Why is the three of coin a challenge or a block? Could be that there's somebody else involved, or it could be that, um, Got the Ace of Swords, Death, Reverse. Okay, well, so I'm not gonna take those because they kind of fell out of the deck. It, it wasn't it wasn't like um, it's because my my hands are too small. Um, tell me about the Three of Coins. But this Empress is throwing me off. 
Uh, she represents love, beauty, expansion, growth, fertility, manifestation, but I'm not picking that up. Seven of Wands, the Fool. It's like this person wants to fight for their empress. They want to put in work. They want to have a new beginning. Um, take a risk. You know, it could be that this was someone's intentions. I have the Ten of Swords reversed, though, with the Six of Cups reversed. So I feel like this is something that maybe ended in the past or someone wants to move on from something that happened in the past maybe ask for forgiveness and move on or just completely start a new cycle i don't know if this is you or your person aries but i feel like there's it's almost like there's resistance here like it's almost like this empress is seeing resistance to a new beginning and it's like they just want to like cut this off that's what i'm seeing here or at least talk about it with with honesty like what is this where is it going are we having a new beginning are we going to be able to grow because you're not working on it or you're not able to work on it or whatever the case may be the ten of swords is when it's reversed it already kind of took place very rarely, sometimes for me, like it's like someone trying to avoid an ending, like trying to like when it's already like close to being ended or, or something's close to being like ter a terrible ending, they kind of can see it and they're trying to like stop it. Very similar to the tower. But the Ten of Swords reverse is really someone that is just, this has already happened. You've hit rock bottom. You were probably betrayed and had a difficult thing happened to you or event and now it's ready it's, it's time to move on into a whole new cycle and that's why the fool is here it could also be for some of you that this is an empress in the way of this connection blocking a new beginning okay why is the king of swords reverse Why is the King of Swords reverse? This could be someone that is a terrible communicator. It could be deception. It could be someone that's extremely distant, cold. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. This is what you need to know. Ace of Pentacles reverse, again. Remember when I put those cards down? The Ace of Pentacles came out reverse. This is a whole new deck. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse, please. Eight of Wands reverse, Six of Swords. You know, it's almost like this person, I'm seeing a few things here. I have the Nine of Swords at the bottom. I'm seeing a few things here, Aries. Give me a second because I'm getting so many messages. It could go like, you know, depending on your situation, this could go in several directions. 